Hello and welcome to this, uh, got to be said, lovely Mercedes, uh, my favourite, the CLS. Uh, I think it's a 320, I'll confirm that when I get around the back of it. Uh, as we look at the car, 57 plate as you can see, we've got a little scuff to this front bumper here. Uh, so it does want a little smart repair. Uh, coming around the side of it, the tyres and the wheels are lovely on this car. So there you go, it's the multi-spoke Mercedes alloy tyre has got plenty of tread on there, certainly above three millimetres, if not a bit more. So as I look down the side of the car, it's all great from about two metres away. However, I did notice there's a little bit of Asda rash just on this door, so it wants a touch of touching up, or a spot of touching in there, and a flattened polish. You should get away with that. And there is, with it being a black car, there is the odd little mark here and there. But on the whole, the car is very, very tidy. Again, just point out a couple of little marks there and there, but nothing really to write home about. Rear tyre has got, you know, that's almost new, I would suggest. Again, wheel in perfect order. It has been well cared for, this car. It has, we have a good history. Uh, fortunately, not a Mercedes history, so I've managed to trace some of it. These new Mercedes service books are a bit of a nightmare. Oil top up, always nice to see. It's been well maintained in the boot here we've got the warning triangle and then that's about your lot uh, toolkit and one thing or another all in there so always good to see there you go so it's a CLS 320 it's a CDI so it's a diesel again all really nice my favourite looking Mercedes this it has to be said again wheels are in perfect order a little bit of a scratch there you're going to do that so whether you do a local repair uh, whether you use uh, a bit of touch up and flat polish uh, definitely wants doing uh, again wheel in great order and then we've got a little bit of touching up to do just on the edge of the door there where it's been caught here and there and again a little bit of trolley rash just on that door so you've probably got a couple hundred pounds of the paint tops the great news is the wheels and tires are all good uh, and it was serviced at 63 I think it's done 69 now so there you go. So a couple of little stone chips on the bonnet. Nothing that you know doesn't go without the territory. I just want those touching in. However, the screen is in good order. Uh, there we go. So interior wise, got this lovely uh, wood interior finish. So it really goes with the type of car it is. And then service history. So service at 19,000 miles by Mercedes, which I think it was its first service. Then it was serviced at 28,000 miles by an independent. Serviced again by an independent at, where's the mileage? I've seen that on here already. I'm sure I did. No, I can't see it now. Uh, so, anyway, serviced again, that was in 2012. Then serviced again in 13, again independently done. Uh, and the mileage, I've seen it on this one, here we go, bloody hell, where did I see it, I've just looked at this, don't it, done you already, but anyway, serviced in 13, I'm sure the mileage is on there somewhere, and then it had a replacement battery in uh, 14, and then again, it was serviced, again independently, I've definitely seen them out. Ah, there we go. 6,349. Let's have a look on that previous invoice because one of them had it. Sorry, bear with me. Uh, yeah, 49,290. Thought I'd go mad then. It has got the mileages on. We've got a complement of handbooks. We've got the locking wheel nut keys. We've got this lovely uh, sort of uh, cloth centre to the seats. Have we got mats. No, no mats look in the back all very nice nothing to write home about there and then again jumping in the driver's seat electric door mirrors looking at the dash no warning lights on 6,663 miles a bit of the audio on see what we've got So, uh, 
has it got telephone which is what I'm thinking because it's got the telephone pad there uh, radio CD you know what I don't know and I don't know how to work it out either let me just turn that down uh, telephone no telephone now whether that's no pair non paired or it hasn't got it I don't know but it's uh, that's on there uh, on board computer all that that all works all the, the buttons got telephone buttons on here as well so I've got a little telephone symbol in there so I've half a feeling it's got phone but you know what I don't know and um, with Mercedes as it is at the minute it's always difficult to check their uh, specifications auto aircon though um, yeah what a nice car a lot of flash for not a lot of cash I would uh, suggest we've got automatic headlights there two keys as well and, uh, and a good history so I'm happy with that one so winning bidder please feel free to download the photos get them on your website so it's ready to retail and uh, I think you'll have that gone relatively quickly thanks very much for watching bye bye